Okay, so it's finally here. The package. What's the package? Well, it's it's my present that I bought myself half a year ago, maybe even longer, maybe almost a year ago. I was one of the... Um, let's see what it says here. Cody Rocky Kickstarter Edition. So, uh, let's see if you can read it. Cody, Cody Rocky Kickstarter Edition. I was one of the early supporters and I bought this box so let's open it I'll be honest I already opened it because I had to play with it a little bit I couldn't wait my daughter couldn't wait she's six and she's mad about coding so this is the box it's a nice box actually you see it has this cute print on it uh, it's like uh, yeah it's a nice box so it on the side what's inside the box I'm sorry I don't have a better webcam so first off we have a small quick start guide so we have the quick start guide here it has the basic instructions quite simple so what does it say let's see quick quick a real man doesn't read the instructions so what's inside the box we'll, we'll see that how to turn it on how to install the software how to connect it off with pretty basic how to put it in, in in the tractor part how to charge it that's it simple but nice print safety instructions okay so some recommendations some battery stuff wiring blah 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 safety is important but now comes the real part so you have like the first tray what's in here so this is Cody part one you have some nice color cards yellow red blue green blue and cyan purple white and black we'll put these here we have the Jeep I'm calling it the Jeep. Actually, this is Rocky and this is Cody. So Cody and Rocky, they're a great team. And the typical the old old fashioned uh, USB cable. It's just a typical micro USB. So isn't it's not USB C, it's just micro USB. Can you see it? Yeah, I think you can. Okay, so you see it's just micro USB. And this connects into your Kodi to charge it or to connect with uh, the Windows machine. I didn't buy the uh, the USB dongle. It connects perfectly well with my tablet. Um, and on the tablet, you have some great apps. Uh, you have one great app. Um, let's see if I can find it on the website. So I'll, I'm, for now, uh, wait. First, first things first. Let's go. I'm gonna put this into the box if I turn it on so I've been playing with it so I don't know which program will be on it okay so it starts okay so it, it has a script I made a script that uh, if you talk too loud it says Sht and makes an annoyed, an annoyed sound let's get back to that in a few minutes, few minutes. hush you Okay, so this is the tool. It comes with a, a cute demo uh, in the beginning. If you push the buttons, that it it moves backwards and it makes a, a funny face. So this thing has a gyroscope. This means that if you move it left, right, front, back, it's a six-axis gyroscope. So it, it it registers all these feelings, uh, movements. Three buttons. You can program the volume knob at the side here. So here is the on off and in here I think there's some Bluetooth also has a microphone and a speaker so it can play sound for you it listens to your noise too and what does Rocky have Rocky has Jeep, Jeep style wheels so a tractor a truck style wheels um, uh, tank style wheels it has a set of sensors uh, let's put it to the front 
um, with a, a distance sensor, a color sensor, and um, yeah, a light. So this one also has a, an LED bar here at the bottom. Um, so with this thingy here, you can scan the bottom or you can scan in front of you and it can see colors. So this is why the cards are. We'll play with that maybe some other time. Anyway, so first things first, you'll have to install um, a driver under Windows because I'm actually a Linux user, but um, the Linux version of MakeBlock software isn't available yet. Uh, so I'm running it in a virtual machine right now. I had some to do some tricks to get it working, but it's it's working now. So I had to install the MakeBlock US, USB driver. The software uh, directs you to a wrong link if, 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 if it doesn't find it. But anyway, if, if you go to the GitHub page of MakeBlock official, you'll find MakeBlock USB driver and there you can install it and uh, just draw, download it and install it. It's quite straightforward actually. Um, once it's done, you'll get this cute uh, icon here, this cute application, mBlock. So I'm gonna connect my thingy with the USB cable to my computer. I'm gonna connect Kodi to my computer. I'm gonna just move away my webcam a little bit. Smaller. Okay. And it's loading. Uh, it's a beta version, as you can see, from uh, mBlock 5. mBlock 5 is the newer version of mBlock, the scratch based. Um, programming language for uh, all the mbots and Rocky is the newest version of it. So for starters you have like the just the panda you, you can also so it's a sprite you have the devices where Kodi is in there and I will connect it. And I don't find it maybe right now because I didn't turn it on yet. Okay and maybe I even forgot to connect my USB devices, USB okay, I forgot to enable it, so let's, where is it? okay, I have to turn it on, yeah Okay, this is strange, it doesn't find it. So I'm gonna load for a quick moment my... Uh, port is fried. I'll check a different USB port. Shut up you. Okay, there I find it, the Queen Hang Electronics USB Serial. So this is a device that it must find. Oh, shut up you, I say. Um, I'm gonna connect again. Shh. So 
task for the connection. So you see it has an attitude because I it actually keeps the uh, program that you're running. I'll quickly ch change it with an, another example piece of code. This annoying thing stops. So I'm going to example programs. This is great because here it shows a lot of examples what you can do with it. So I'm going to check this one. So I'm going to connect it again because every time you open a new application, it needs to reconnect. Upload it. Okay. So now I have another application in it that just controls the three buttons. So if I press this button, it shows these eyes and makes a small sound. Other eyes. You see, you can program the display. I, I forgot to display. This is the, the, the most fun part of, of the whole computer. I'm gonna, so I'm going to take away this protective lid. Um, so now let's advance this to the next level. So we're going to upgrade it a little bit. We're going to add some movement. So this is the whole concept of Scratch. This is fun. And because it's actually a visual programming language. So I'm going to add some action. I'm going to say, if you push the A button, you're going to move forward after showing the image. Now just put it in there too. Just move this around a little bit. So you have the A button, the B button, and the C button. Okay. When I push the B button, I will let turn left. 15 degrees, or maybe I'll just change this. So it's really quite simple. So I'm going to move this around a little bit because I'll take the C button to move forward because it's like a center button. And I'll to use the, the buttons to go left and right. So you see, I just make some, some code here. I'm uploading the device. And the code has been uploaded. Let's see if it works. Oh. here so it yeah it actually works so it has all kinds of fun stuff so it has a sensor in here that so if, if you put a card in front of it let's make an, a new piece of program so I'm gonna get rid of button A I like it but okay get rid of button B empty button C And I'm going to add some. Uh, I'm going to add a new event. So, you, what happens when Cody starts up? So this is when anything happens. You can shake Cody. So if you do like this, gyroscope re response. When you tilt it to the left, to the right, so you can tilt this like this. You can use it as a joystick. So you can go up and down. The four movements that you see here. You can, it can respond to, to loudness. We already heard that. It can respond to, to darkness or light when light intensity is beneath a certain value. You can broadcast and receive messages, but this is a little bit more advanced. This is if you want to interact between the Panda Bear or other applications and Rocky or Cody. So as soon as, let's try when, okay. When code, uh, no, let's see, when button C is pressed, I, I prefer the buttons, it's quite boring, but it works. If button C is pressed, I'm gonna display. Um, three messages.
and I'm going to set the light to a certain value. So what am I doing now? You'll see it quite soon. So I had the R G B value. And now I'm gonna so use the sensors. I'm gonna use the show uh That's why I'm gonna drag this in here. R I'm just gonna keep it in red now. And I'm gonna change the parameters as soon as I'm ready. show red, show green, show blue. The green indicator will be assigned to the green value and the blue indicator to the blue value. And now we're going to upload it to the device. So now I only programmed one button. And if I now press this button C, I hold this in front of it, and it puts the same color here. You see it's yellow? Let's try it. I have the red color, you see red? And it turns red here too. Let's turn it down and see what the color of the map is. It's green, it's okay, nice. Of course, you could also say, I'll put the thingy on the floor. It turns purple. So you see, it takes the color and it shows the values of every color. So let's pick a black one. It goes a little bit too fast if it, if it shows them. So let's add some... Uh, some uh, delays. Let's see where the delays are, because I don't know everything either. Um, wait one second. Okay, and so uh, I think you, you got the concept, so it's really a drag and drop thing here. And the fun thing is, uh, I'm gonna, if you push this little button here, you can actually see the Python code that's used to create the script. So if you would like to write it in Python, you can also go here to blocks to Python. You could write your program in Python. So if you're in blocks mode, you see the code, but you can't actually edit it. So here you go, and you, you can just see, you can copy paste it even. But, I mean, if you go to Python, you're taking it to the next level. You, you, you can import other libraries. You, you could do all kinds of crazy stuff, connect to uh, online services, whatever you can imagine. Um, yeah, have fun. So anyway, um, let's go through all the features that you can program. So you can this you can uh, change add some eyes. Let's just have a play with this because it's also quite fun. So if you add some eyes, you could actually edit the pattern. So you you, you can have some of the defaults. But you could also just draw it yourself. So you could say, I'm going to empty it and draw like a. an arrow. Let 
and if you say I like this icon I'm gonna save it and it stores them at the end you, of course you can, you can get rid of them if you don't like it but for now it will draw okay I didn't select it like my cool arrows yes and now it will show this icon at the end so let's uh, add another wait uh, wait another second so we can see the three values upload it to the device the white card here 255 to 55 it says it's white and it shows you a white light let's see something else here 46 147 158 so it's, this is how, how, how you make this color you and so enough of this so uh, what can you all do uh, where's my mouse so you can control the display you could also put some text on there and this means you could also put variable text in as we did here you could clear the screen light up certain pixels you could switch between so it toggles certain pixels and if it's like a pointy pointy thing this is a check is this if so if for example in, in an if function you could check if is pixel zero zero lighted up or not and if it's lighted up then do this okay so this is quite basic then you could also do some things with with the rgb led so this is the thing here at the bottom you could give it a certain color for a second or just keep it a color turn it off set rgb values and this is the light at the bottom of the machine here so i'll add this one just to, to show you what what this is sometimes it's handy just to put on a white light for example or a purple light whatever and then if we're uploading it now see it gives a small light here it's uh, and you could turn the light off again if you want to uh, so that's everything you, you can do with the lighting so you have the speaker let's go back so everything this small icon here means it's something to do with a Kodi this small icon means it has something to do with Rocky it's, uh, very visual i hope to to be able to learn my daughter six years old how to work with this so here you can play a sound let it play a certain sound for example yeah or wow whatever uh, hello stop all sounds you can so make music if you want to you can play notes you could play frequencies you could change the volume um, and this is a value so actions is moving forward turning left turning right uh, you could steer the wheels you could have all kinds of motion commands as you see this is of course only with rocky the sensors you have a lot of sensors here in, in um, in Cody. so the buttons a potentiometer this is the, the volume I, I was talking about at, at the side here so you, you, you could use it for a volume which is default but obviously you could also say I'm gonna control my the speed of my machine with it so if it goes for quick quickly or slowly loudness is a value you could you could read um, the light intensity how much light is there in the aim in, in the in the environment is it shaking yes or no is it tilted to the left is it tilted to the right has it face up face down the rolling angle so you can actually view the angle and then you can see the angle here it's not working that well i have the impression uh, 
some things uh, are a little bit uh, sluggish, but I think this is because of the virtual machine. And you, anyway, you could also have like the rotation angle, the can reset the axis, acceleration, speed, or the obstacles ahead. So this small icon here means these buttons that are in here they can detect obstacles so it was for example it you can say if there's an obstacle turn around stop and turn around this can check colors if the color is red stop if the color is green continue etc ambient light intensity so these are all uh, numerical values you, you could uh, view the timer you could set a timer i don't know how, how long has he been running you can reset the timer if you want to so all the sensors then you have events what's an event what kind of stuff do you have to listen to so Cody starts just as soon as as, as the machine is started this is will start running when the button is pressed when you shake it I already showed this one when I receive a message this means I can broadcast a message for example I say I create a new message and I say um, tilt left and then for on the sprite I could make an action when I receive the message tilt left and then it will also tilt left so you, you could connect one piece to another uh, with these uh, messages control so these are the loops and weights and ifs and all these kinds of stuff operators so this is if you want to add stuff some mathematical stuff just randoms uh, equations logical operators text operators so join two strings this could also be of course for example red and then colon and here you put that numer numerical value of that um, uh, here this kind of stuff so th the fun thing is you see this is like a long ellipse and these are also long ellipses if it's like an hexagon you'll see here are hexagons too so the shape shows you which kind of data fits in um, modulo round the absolute value or advanced math, math functions so um, and variables you can create a variable or you can get, create a communicate variable a variable is something that stays on the computer a communicate variable is something that can communicate between scratch and your machine this is a, an important difference um, my blocks so you, you could create a function a block and this for example you say uh, sing a song and he will always do the same batch of movements uh, with a block and then you, you, you can you use this block to to repeat the same command every time again infrared this is a, a nice gimmick I haven't tried it yet so apparently you, you could send IR messages infrared messages and also receive them so you, you could for example take the remote control of your television receive the power off signal and connect it to the a button so every time uh, rocky looks at the television and sends this message tv goes out and you don't know why and you could add some own your own libraries if you wanted to but this means that you will have to connect to the internet for example if i would uh, add the iot library This could see if I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, but this is uh, uh, on my uh, machine, I think. And you, you could, if you're connected, you, you could have some values here. You need to log in to use this block. I haven't worked with it, so this is new for me. And this way you you could you, you can um, program all, all these things it's fun you can also calibrate your uh, color sensor your gyro sensor and reset it to the default program I'll do this for now and you, you can see what, what what you get if you uh, okay if you just open the, the, the box and get Cody fresh out of the box 
Okay, so I'm trying to get the firmware. I don't think this is needed because it's quite up to date already. It's just new. Okay, so this is crappy. So clearly this is a bug because it's not updating anything. But I don't have I don't feel like disconnecting it because I think I will break it in and I don't want my rocket to be broken. settings it's a default program I'm not going to upgrade now okay so this doesn't work very well here uh, this my okay so this is the tone of my skin nice Okay, cool. And my my sweater. Oh, it's not it's not that strange because it's brownish and it turns out to be bluish here. Um, would it work with gray? Gray. Let's see if it works with gray. Is gray kind grayish kind of stuff. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, sure. So I have daughters, let's see if it recognizes pink. Not all, all girls are pinkish, but my girls are. Look here, it's pink. Yes, it works. You see, um, I'm wasting your time. I'm gonna call it quits for now. I think it's a super fun machine. The ni nice thing is also if you play with a tablet, you also have this scratchy environment and it works with Bluetooth. So this is an advantage. I didn't get the Bluetooth to work, but I think this is a problem on my machine and not everywhere. So I'll leave it for here. If you ever get your own uh, Cody Rocky, have fun with it. And if you have super creative pro projects, go at it and put it in the comments below because I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Okay, hope to see you soon. Bye.